Steve, developing this morning a controversial bill changing some voting rules is one signature away from becoming state law. The measure heading to the governor's desk is aimed at election security, but Democrats argue it goes too far. News 6's Mark Lehman is following the latest live for us this morning. And Mark, some of the biggest changes will affect mail-in vote voting. Yeah, yeah, the provisions include Dropbox monitoring and stronger ID requirements. Supporters of the bill say it's uh, necessary uh, to prevent um, so-called ballot harvesting, but uh, lawmakers opposed to the bill say it will only suppress the right to vote. A lot of the language we have in here codifies that executive order to keep that great election we just talked about. After a debate from state lawmakers Thursday night, a controversial elections bill is headed to the governor. Republicans passing the measure saying they're reasonable changes to ensure election security. Democrats, however, are calling it voter suppression. How do you tell voters we're not minimizing their access to the voting box? The bill requiring ballot drop boxes to be physically monitored at all times. Those boxes must only be placed at supervisor's offices or early voting locations, and you can only drop off ballots for yourself or immediate family, something to avoid so-called ballot harvesting. What we're trying to do is make sure that we preserve our sacred duty and right of having every vote count. Why would we, as a state, attempt to reduce the right of a person to exercise their right to vote. The bill also requires voters who want an absentee ballot to request one for every election. It strengthens ID requirements for updating voter registration or applying for mail-in ballots and expands the no solicitation zone outside polling places by 50 feet. Governor DeSantis is expected to sign the bill into law. A spokesperson for his office said it will ensure Florida remains a national leader in election security, integrity, and transparency. Voting rights groups, meanwhile, have expressed their intent to fight the measure in court. For now, reporting live in Seminole County, Mark Lehman getting results. News 6.